Hello everyone. Today in this video we will be starting the first chapter of your science textbook. The name of the chapter is Food We Eat. All living things need food to grow and stay healthy. We human beings also eat food. We eat different types of food. For example, some of us eat plant-based foods like fruits, vegetables, nuts, etc. while some of us eat animal based foods like meat fish milk and some of us eat both the food that we eat contains certain substances that help our body in different ways food helps our body grow and protects us from diseases the substances present in food that help our body to grow strong and healthy are called nutrients let us have a look at how nutrients help our body nutrients give us energy to work and play nutrients keep our body healthy and help in proper growth nutrients also help in building and repairing our body nutrients are of different types the five main nutrients that are present in our food are carbohydrates fats proteins minerals vitamins along with this our body also needs water and roughage let us talk about each of these in detail carbohydrates are called energy giving foods as they give energy to our body we should eat enough carbohydrates every day because our body needs the energy to do work so carbohydrates gives us this energy carbohydrate rich foods are rice potato sugar bread cereals etc carbohydrates are of two types sugar and starch fruits like mangoes and apples contain carbohydrates in the form of sugar while foods like rice and potato contain carbohydrates in the form of starch next we have fats fats are also called energy giving foods they give more energy to our body than carbohydrates they keep our body warm some fat rich foods are butter ghee oil present in nuts like cashew almond and also fat found in meat we should not eat too much fat rich foods as it gets stored in our body and can make us overweight so we should keep a check on our diet and see that we do not eat excess of fat rich foods next we have proteins proteins help to build different parts of our body like our muscles they are known as body building foods some protein rich foods are meat fish egg cheese beans and green leafy vegetables growing children like you should eat food with enough proteins every day to grow healthy and strong vitamins and minerals they help to protect our body from diseases and keep us fit and healthy food rich in vitamins and minerals are called protective foods vitamin a b c d e and k are some important vitamins iodine calcium iron and potassium are some important minerals that our body needs here i have listed some foods that are rich in vitamins vitamin a can be found in carrot spinach apricots vitamin c can be found in citrus fruits like lemon oranges and also in papaya vitamin b can be found in meat egg seafood vitamin d The main source of vitamin D on earth is sunlight. Apart from that, we can also find vitamin D in foods like eggs, especially egg yolk, seafood and milk. Vitamin K can be found in green leafy vegetables. Some mineral rich foods are listed here. Iron can be found in spinach, legumes like beans, peas, etc. Calcium can be found in milk. and milk products like cheese potassium 
can be found in fruits like orange, banana, dried fruits, etc. Iodine can be found in sea food and salt. If we do not take enough vitamins and minerals in our food, our body suffers from a condition called deficiency diseases. The lack or shortage of certain vitamins cause, causes different deficiency diseases. I have listed down some common deficiency diseases here. The shortage of vitamin A can cause visual changes in our body. It can make our eyesight weak and people can suffer from night blindness if they have less vitamin A in their body. Next, vitamin D. Vitamin D, just like calcium, helps to build our bones. So, less vitamin D can cause in bone abnormalities or weakness in bones. Iron, the lack of iron can cause anemia. The shortage of iodine in our body can cause goiter. Lack of calcium can lead to weak or fragile bones. Now we come to the next important part of our diet that is water. Living things cannot live without water. We must drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. In summer, when we sweat a lot, we should drink a lot of water. Foods such as watermelon and cucumber contain a lot of water. Another important part of our diet is roughage. Roughage or fiber is the part of the food that is useful in removing waste from our body through the process of digestion. We should eat foods that contain fiber. They keep the digestive system healthy. Foods such as green leafy vegetables, grains and fruits contain fiber. So these are the nutrients that our body needs in order to stay healthy. Now let's talk about a balanced diet. The food that we eat is called our diet. A diet that contains enough amount of all the nutrients along with water and fiber is called a balanced diet. The diet of a person depends on their age and the kind of activities that they do in a day. Children need to eat more proteins and carbohydrates as they are growing and are involved in a lot of physical activity like running, playing, etc. People who do a lot of physical work like athletes who exercise daily also need to eat more carbohydrates as they need more energy. Overeating can lead to obesity or fatness. So we should not overeat or eat too much food rich in fats. As we are talking about the food we eat, let us discuss one more aspect that is related to our food habits that is food wastage. Some people often waste a lot of food every day, but we can easily avoid this by following some simple measures. Take small portions of food so that you can finish off everything on your plate. If you cook too much, do not throw it out. It can be kept in the fridge and used next day. Always make a list of items you need to buy and buy only those necessary items. Do not hoard food items. Hoarding is a process in which people stock up on items more than required. So hoarding is not a good practice. Always keep a check on the expiry date of food items and use them before they expire. Store cooked food, fruits and vegetables in the refrigerator to avoid spoiling. Spoiling of food can also be prevented by following some preservation methods. Let us have a look at some easy preservation methods to avoid spoilage of food. Drying. Some foods can be dried in the sun or on fire to remove moisture so that they do not get spoiled. Moisture is the water contained in any kind of food, fruit or vegetable. For example, potato chips and dry chilies are often dried in the sun so that they can be used later. Freezing. It is a way of preserving food like seafood and meat by keeping them in freezers as microorganisms do not grow at such low temperature. Growth of microorganisms is the reason our food gets spoiled. So if the microorganisms cannot grow when they are in the freezer, our food will not get spoiled easily. 
fermentation it is a process in which a natural food is converted into another form by using friendly microorganisms the food actually spoils in this process and results in another edible product for example cheese is made from milk canning canning is sealing foods in metal cans or bottles which stops them which stops them from getting spoiled for example fruits are canned jams we get canned fish also pickling it is a very common way of preserving vegetables and fruits pickles are something which is very common in the indian household fruits and vegetables are stored with salt oil and often spices and they can be used or eaten for a longer time now i have some exercises for you let's have a look at the questions name the main nutrients found in food you have to write down the five main nutrients that we spoke about question number 2 what is a balanced diet i have given you a clear definition of what is a balanced diet in this video question number 3 how do nutrients help us list the different ways in which food can be preserved so you have to list the different ways over here just the names will do why are vitamins and minerals called protective foods we know that vitamins and minerals protect our body from diseases therefore they are protective foods state three ways in which you can avoid food wastage so i have given you a list of ways in which we can avoid food wastage you can pick any three easy answers next we have complete the chart this is a very fun exercise i have here for you here i have written down the names of some nutrients present in food for example first i have vitamins now i want you to remember and write the names of two food items that contain vitamins for example i have carrot and seafood next carbohydrates for that i have bread and rice next proteins meat and eggs next fats fats can be found in ghee and butter and finally i have minerals for that i have spinach and milk so you see you can make this chart in your copy and you can write down the name of any five nutrients or different kinds of vitamins or different minerals that i have mentioned in this video and write down the food item where you can find this particular nutrient please try it yourself here i have written down the answers for all the questions that i have given you from 1 to 6 if you have difficulty finding your answers in the video you can copy them down from here with this we come to the end of this chapter that's all for today thank you